is a video of a Trimble control box on a GPS system for a motor grader. Uh, we'll walk through some of the screens here and take a look at some of the stuff in here. This is a uh, top view of your machine and your site. It shows you where you're at on your site. These buttons over here zoom in and out on it. Zoom out and get a view of where you're at. You can zoom all the way in on your blade tip so you can follow lines. You can get, get them pretty, pretty accurate to where they need to be so you can follow a straight line. Zoom out. This button up here will switch which receiver on your blade you're running off of. Right now it's on left. You hit it and it'll switch it over to the right side. down here will give us our GPS accuracy mode. Uh, now we're learning medium. Our air limit is plus or minus 1600 feet. That will kick out your machine control if your vertical air on your GPS is greater than 16 hundredths of a foot. Switch it to course is 33 hundredths of a foot down to fine at 7 hundredths. Generally run on medium. This button over here will change through your screens. That is a cross section viewed from the back of the blade. Just basically gives you a cross section of your sight. Well, see all your slopes. That stuff on that one. This one is a side view of your machine. You can see your main fault. Whether you're headed uphill or downhill. This one has got your cut left, cut right, design elevation, and what you're, what you're building to. This is your cross slope and what your mold board is at currently. Change when you move your mold board up or down. Change your slope. This number of satellites that you're running off of. This is our vertical GPS error. 400s. The screen has your northing and your easting, which is your location on the project. Uh, our design elevation, what? Or like, this is our actual elevation rather than our design elevation. You can also change that to read off of your left or your right side. And back to our screen. This is a menu button. This top one here is your design. You can go into this menu and change your designs and load up whichever one you need to use. This is a vertical offset. This will allow you to raise or lower what you're cutting in relation to zero on your design. If you need to undercut it six inches for topsoil or gravel or whatever you're putting on it, you can drop it down five tenths. If you're grading, put it back at zero, then you're getting exactly five tenths of material in there. This is your horizontal offset, uh, which will give you what point in your mold board you're reading off of from the tip to a certain certain point in the center or anywhere in between your two blade tips. Uh, generally run one point center and read off of one receiver. That will allow you to hang over a line half of your mold board before it'll break. Your machine will break over the edge and change grade to the other slope. GPS accuracy, that's just another way to get into changing your tolerances where it'll kick the automatics out. This is your blade wear. You change your change your distance from the center of your mounting bolts on your cutting edges as they wear down. That way your your GPS stays on accurate. You're not wearing off a tenth on your cutting edge and grading at 10th high. Vertical setup. 
which is actually where we get into our one point center. We run off the center of the blade and then either side to change it. We've got one point focus on one side or the other or we can run two point tips when you're running off of both receivers. And then you can tell it yes or no to adjust to avoid overcut so you're not undercutting uh, on a different plane. This is our on grade tolerance. You can adjust that where it will tell you on your screen whether you're cutting or filling, how how much variance you have there. Uh, some display brightness, just adjust the brightness of your display for light conditions. This is your valve speed. Adjust your how fast your hydraulic valves kick in and out and move your mold board up and down. Uh, this is a restore settings menu, which will restore back to the defaults from anything you've changed. And we got diagnostics, which will tell us all of our components, whether they're connected or not. Uh, go up to this button up here in the corner will give us our diagnostics on our GPS, uh, how many satellites we're using, our GPS error, our mode right now, our RTK fixed. Switch back and forth from your left receiver, the top here, your right one there, your data link, which will give you your data link for either, either receiver tell you what you're what you're receiving what you have received whether you're connected or not this button over here will give us our sky plot which is our actual show us where our satellites are in the sky in relation to the earth station close by we're not picking up their signal and screwing up our machine control and our guidance hours tells us how many hours on the machine um, we got 1841 on this one at this point in time 